In this video, we're going to get started on peak control. As a first step, we have to create a Polkadot wallet. We simply click the link and get the right extension for our browser. Once this is done, we can simply create the wallet directly in the extension. Clicking on plus, making sure we copy and save our seed securely. And in the next step, we just need to give our account a name and set a password. Et voila. Now we just have to click on connect wallet. Giving the application access. And there we go. Getting started on peak control. I'm going to give my organization the name Leos Org. Create. And now I need to select the type. Right now, only the machine owner type is available. In future versions, also DApp builders and machine manufacturers will be able to create accounts. It now takes a few seconds while the application puts everything together. We're all set. Awesome. As a next step, the quick setup guide pops up. Peak control is not really useful without any machine. So we are going to add a machine. But don't worry, you don't need an actual machine because we have created a demo mode. In order to get a demo machine, we simply need to go to the Peak EOT demo. Here again, we need to give the application access to our Polkadot wallet. There we go. Now we click on Get Machines. And for demo purposes, we have put three different machine types, electric vehicles, charging stations, or drones. I'm going to generate a charging station now. Super. My charging station is generated, and I simply need to copy the serial number. Going back to the onboarding flow, I select the charging station again and add the serial number, which I just copied right here. I'm going to give it the name charging station one, select the model, and continue. In the next step, we have to connect the charging station to a decentralized application, because only when it's connected to a dApp, it can actually sell and offer goods and services. There we go. The machine is added to the Peak Network and connected to a dApp. We are all set. If you want to get an overview of all the functionality, just watch the overview video. Thanks for watching.